you know, I love the Spyro series. Uh, the first three, anyway. Uh, but I never played any of the later games afterwards. I was always lost on the whole Skylanders thing. Um, but you know, I'm ready to jump right back in. So let's jump right back in. It's just a float, you scaredy cat. <laughs> Duh. Spyro Enter the Dragonfight was developed by Check 6 Games along with Equinox Digital Entertainment. Releasing in November 2002, the game suffered mixed to absolutely terrible reviews by critics all over the Dragon Realm. Well, Check 6 Games, I guess Enter the Dragonfly should have been one of the six games you checked. <laughs> the game sets up the story by showing a party for young dragons and their newly wed dragonflies when Ripto shows up out of nowhere. Hey, look, I know he's supposed to be dead and all that, but I mean, come on, just, just forget about it for just two seconds, okay? Just believe me, there's stranger things to come. <laughs> What was that, Sparks? Ah, you jokester. That's illegal. And highly offensive. So anyway, Ripto does some magic to scatter the dragonflies, and Spyro needs to get them all back. That's it. A plus for storytelling. And you get an Oscar. So you play the game as Spiro the Drugan as you run around the dragon realm trying to rescue as many stray dragonflies as you can. But for some reason, the dragonflies don't even want to be rescued because they're always running away from you. There is literally no reason for you to make this so difficult. Please, I'm trying to save you for fuck's sake. And you know, it's not like the dragonflies were even trapped or anything. They were just scattered. I mean, they could find their way back home by themselves, I'm sure just leave a trail of glitter or whatever, maybe fly? Collecting dragonflies also allows you to travel to different locations in the game, but how? Like, why do I need 45 dragonflies to power your fucking rock casket? Makes no sense! And why the fuck is Spyro on a UFO? Can someone explain this to me? What's going on here? What is everyone doing to him? I don't know, man. He's, he's fighting alien dinosaurs. You know, dinosaurs, but with aliens, I, I don't fucking, I don't know, man. Should be another day of the week. <laughs> Hey, you want to know a fun fact? Enter the Dragonfly was supposed to originally feature 120 dragonflies to collect spread over 25 different levels. Due to rush development to meet a winter 2002 release, the game ended up having 90 dragonflies crammed up in just 9 levels. Oh yeah, and the loading screens are SHIT! And quiet. The controls for Spyro it just don't feel right. Like in the way he moves or something. I don't know. He just feels sloppy for some reason. Uh oh. Okay. God damn it. I got sparks all worked up. Poor thing can't even control his sparkle output when I pause the game. Hey, don't worry, buddy. Here, why don't you help me collect all these gems, huh? Ah, okay, well, don't be a hoarder now. Not no, 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 all of them. You're also getting stopped every second by... This, you see? A tutorial screen stops you every fucking time. Just let me play the game I don't want to play already. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Of course, you know, for all the wars. I'll never forget it. Those times we dragons rode in on our tanks across the dragon realm. Faced off against those bastard evil ninja monkeys. They thought they had us. They never expected a dragon riding a fucking tank. Hoorah to ashes, my brothers. Hoorah. As you explore the realm, you start to acquire different types of abilities in the form of breaths. You got fire, bubble, lightning, and ice. Along with, oh cool, wing shield. Oh, this might actually just save the game. How do I use it? Yeah, no, really. How the fuck do I use it? So after a while, I found out that you only use it on one specific level. For one specific enemy type. For one specific dragonfly. And you know what? For some reason, I can't think of one specific joke to go along with that. Speaking of things in this game that only show up one time, what's this about, huh? They put money bags in the game for like one part. Why even put him in the game if you're just going to use him to fix some magic platform thing with his magic fingers and then never use him again? This is potential and you're just, just throwing it away. And this girl right here, she's all up in the beginning and just leaves, just goes away, poof. Why does this game not want to make any sense? The level design in this game also really sucks. You got all these big open spaces, but not much to fill it with. It almost feels like I'm beta testing the game or something. But you know, I really like the, the tropical level. I love tropical level. Dinosaur tourist, my favorite. There's also these gates that take you to the hub world or an extra level or something. But you know, it's kind of hard to see which one's the right one because they all look the exact fucking same. I swear, this happened to me every fucking time. I don't know, maybe I'm just fucking stupid. And now I'm flying a plane, even though I'm a dragon, with wings and fire breath. Defend Puffy Palace. Actually, no, Puffy Palace can suck my puffy dick. There was this one time when Hunter needed my help to catch all of his missing manta rays, which, if you ask me, I don't know what a tiger, uh, 
nothing is doing with a bunch of pet manta rays anyway. But I have a suspicion that he just wants me to do all the work because uh, I have 10 manta rays and, and this dude hasn't even caught a fucking single one. I see you, you fucking... What even are you? Something fishy is going on around here. Oh, and the game's broken, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. I didn't see it coming either. Aside from the fact that the true enemy of the game is actually the camera, the frame rate drops more times than a stripper on a late Friday night. There is also so many glitches present in this game. Another thing is when you get the ability to temporarily breathe fireballs, they forgot to add any kind of animation to it. I mean, if you wanted to be lazy, fine. At least use the same animation for the fire breath. I mean, seriously. Oh. Well, I guess now we're both frozen here. That is very cool. You get it? It's because of the ice thing. Speaking of ice, I must have slipped on some and hit my head pretty hard because, oh boy, this ice level is looking very strange right about now. I just can't put my finger on it. It's the turret. It's the dragon controlling the turret. Shooting missiles at the pterodactyls. It's not our dreams that haunt us, but our shadows. Blasted! Where are they? Where are my dragonflies? They're everywhere, man! I feel like I forgot something. Oh, yeah. Fuck this lightning platform challenge thing. It's the stupidest, most infuriating, hellish sin of a level I have ever played thus far. Oh, you want me to try this platform puzzle again? Do you want a taste of this sweet white ass again? I'm starting to think you don't even like this game, Adonis. I know that look. Don't be bullshitting me. Anyway, I beat all the levels, so I guess we should just go beat Ripto and uh, be done with all this already. Yeah, no. Uh, turns out I need to collect all 90 dragonflies in order to unlock the second phase of the fight and beat the game for real. Lucky for Sparks, you're not one to give up so easily. Yeah. Lucky for Sparks. Dude, it says you need to collect all 7,000 gems to get to the final phase to complete the game.